Welcome to the Healthy Skin Show with Jennifer Fugo, where we're flipping everything you've been told about your chronic skin issues upside down and connecting you with alternative solutions your dermatologist never told you about. Welcome back to episode number 75 of the Healthy Skin Show. In today's episode, I want to share with you a big problem with biotin. You might be aware that biotin is found in all of these different hair, skin, and nail formulas because there's a ton of information written about it online, and it oftentimes is added because it can make an improvement if you need more biotin in your system. But there is a downside, a downside that no one really tells you about that could impact your health in a negative way that you wouldn't even expect or know to anticipate. And the way that this shows up is in your labs. Believe it or not, the labs you go to get could be dramatically skewed because of biotin supplementation. Because most people don't talk to their doctor about supplements, and their doctor oftentimes doesn't even know what to do with supplements, this critical piece often gets overlooked, especially because doctors often don't ask us about our supplements, or you might just happen to leave it off because you don't want your doctor to see this laundry list of supplements they don't understand and then tell you that you're basically wasting your money, which, by the way, unfortunately does happen. Here's the issue. When you don't fully disclose to a doctor what you're taking and the doctor doesn't have the opportunity to even know what's in the supplement themselves, it can not only interact with medications, you can have interactions with food, sometimes inappropriate supplementation can cause problems, but in the case of biotin, it can skew labs. The FDA issued a warning that is available on their website as of November 28th, 2017, about this very specific issue. So let's break down what the problem is, which tests it affects, and what do you do if you're taking supplements that contain biotin before you need to go get these labs run? So biotin is a B vitamin, specifically vitamin B7. It's also known as vitamin H, believe it or not. When I say that biotin can skew your lab results or mess them up, what I mean is that either certain results will appear falsely elevated or falsely low. The labs that this affects aren't random weird labs that you're probably never going to ask for. They're pretty common for even someone like myself to request a doctor to run when someone comes to me looking for a root cause approach to their health. So it is a big deal that you know whether you are taking supplements with biotin. And even small doses of 5 to 10 milligrams is enough to potentially skew the labs. Because I know that you're like, Jen, come on, share with us those tests. I'm waiting here to find out what the heck this would skew. Let's talk about those. Some of the affected tests include Tests that would have to do with heart, so heart failure, as well as whether you actually had a heart attack, specifically when doctors would look for a protein in your blood called troponin, which helps them determine whether you've had a heart attack due to chest pain or if it's just heartburn. The next one that's a pretty big deal for most of my clients would be their thyroid hormones. Unfortunately, biotin supplementation can skew thyroid hormone results to the point where your doctor could even misdiagnose you with something like Graves' disease. Other tests that can be affected include those that have to do with pregnancy, cancer, vitamin D, and even iron deficiency anemia. There are two different categories of what are called immunoassays that determine whether Biotin supplementation would cause falsely high or falsely low results. One is called competitive immunoassays and the other is called immunometric or sandwich assays. The following competitive immunoassays could produce falsely high results if you supplement with biotin directly leading up to getting your blood taken. Free T4, free T3, testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, DHEAS, vitamin B12, and TSH receptor antibodies. 
Whereas sandwich immunoassays can be affected in the opposite way, where biotin supplementation leading up to your blood draw could produce falsely low results. The following tests would be affected in that way. TSH, thyroglobulin, parathyroid hormone, luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, also known as FSH, and prostate-specific antigens. So what do you do if you normally take biotin as part of your multivitamin, some sort of hair, skin, and nail formula, or maybe just on its own because you read that biotin can be really helpful for whatever you have going on? Step number one is to do an inventory of all the supplements that you take and maybe put an X or a star on bottles that contain biotin so that you know where it's hiding in all of your supplements, greens powders, protein powders, or anywhere else. Step number two is to make sure that you tell your practitioner, no matter whether they're a conventional doctor or a functional doctor or practitioner, that you are taking these supplements and make sure to highlight that the supplements that you are taking contain biotin. And last, the recommendation is to stop any and all supplements containing biotin at least one week before you go to get blood labs run. And if unfortunately you end up in the hospital due to some sort of emergency, so you weren't anticipating on being there and they need to take your blood, Make sure to tell the staff that you are taking supplements that contain biotin so that the lab can hopefully account for it. And in case you were going to ask me if you should stop or reduce the amount of biotin-rich foods that you're consuming before you get your labs run, there's really no clear-cut evidence or information on that. The issue and warning through the FDA specifically has to do with biotin supplementation. And remember, it doesn't take a whole lot in your supplements to skew the results. So even a tiny amount may be enough to cause an issue. I hope that the information I've shared today is helpful to you. So make a note of all of the different tests that I've discussed here. And remember, you've got to stop all supplements with biotin at least a week before you go get your labs run. If you want to take a look at the actual list of labs, head on over to skinterrupt.com forward slash 075 to look at everything in the show notes. I'll also make sure to put all of the references there as well so you can go and take a look at not just the FDA warning, but other sites that I've looked at that discuss this issue more in depth. And feel free to leave a question or a comment there so we can keep the conversation going. And don't forget, subscribe, rate, and review The Healthy Skin Show. It means a lot to me when you guys do that. And of course, share, 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 right? If you've got friends that you know who are going to get labs run, share this episode with them. Because if they are taking biotin to help support and beautify their hair, skin, and nails, This is something critical they need to know. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.